Good day, Mr. Holloway here coming to you from Worthington Christian. And I wanted just to talk a little bit about the college process and with uh, Naviance, that is a portal we use to submit your transcripts, uh, submit your letters of recommendation to the colleges that you're interested in. And uh, anyway, a little bit about that process. You should, as juniors and seniors, be receiving emails from me uh, with temporary passcodes. And if you haven't, at some point, you'll definitely want to reach out to me. Uh, so anyway, you'll go to this website and you'll click on Students and Family Login. Here's where you enter your zip code, 43081 for the school. You'll select Worthington Christian School. For this purpose, you'll select Student. You'll enter your information here that I provided to you. And then that'll take you to a page that looks like this. So there's different tabs on the Naviance uh, site. So one of those tabs here, self-discovery. These are, are all assessment tools that are available to you. I would take advantage of them. It can help you with career planning. Um, it doesn't mean you have to specifically go in those uh, trades, but it might be of interest to you and it might help you figure some things out. Um, also, learning uh, productivity, your personality, intelligences. This helps you with uh, kind of being more in tune with the way you learn. That way you can use it to your advantage. Also helps with your personality and what careers might work well for you. Um, that'll take a couple hours, by the way, to complete, but it's well worth the time. Uh, when you go into the careers tab, uh, so this first one, you explore careers. Um, gives you some different options, careers, clusters of pathways. Uh, those two specifically um, I find valuable. So if you want to be an accountant, you can see the education required for years of median salary. Uh, 69,000 and up. Uh, some details at a glance. And this is where your Holland code uh, is helpful with when you take the assessment tools because it kind of tells you why this might be a good field for you based on your personality strengths and your uh, career interests. So colleges, um, there's a lot here to digest. I'm going to hit on a few things. So the Supermatch College Search is obviously one of the main features on Naviance. This just helps you uh, kind of find your, what we call a fit score here. Uh, you can see here at the bottom. But you can actually go through and pick out specifics. So let's say that you want to be in the Midwest um, and, you know, schools you don't want to go to. Uh, so you don't, you don't like Michigan, so you take Michigan out. Um, anyway, uh, you can select large schools, small schools, as far as the cities they're in. Um, well, also the size of schools as well. Academically, so let's say um, you're going to get a bachelor's degree. You type in here what you're looking to get as a major. You can even look at a minor. I know some of the programs you probably can't do a minor, like nursing, uh, stuff like that. So you would save that information. And here in admissions, you could put your actual GPA, your ACT scores, your SAT scores, if you took the test. You can look at the acceptance rates. That way you kind of know how you stack up um, based on where you stand with your GPA and everything. Um, you can look at different programs. Uh, you can look to see what they accept, if they accept all these credits, credits which, which most of the universities should. You want to learn more about the student life as far as clubs, uh, if you like intramurals, if you want to be in the ROTC program as far as like the military, if you want like a paid internship, if diversity is important to you, you can like look at the different percentages based on the populations, you can look at the religious affiliations, uh, but anyway there's different things you can click on there. As far as athletics, the cost of the program. Um, so going back into colleges, um, anyway, that's a very helpful tool to limit to narrow down the schools. I recommend maybe start with at least 10 schools that you're interested in. Uh, college visits. Uh, I'm going to promote this and also send out emails throughout the year. I also have these colleges each month listed on the bulletin boards, boards around campus. So if you're interested in Indiana Western University, uh, I put on here that I registered for it as an example. You just literally click the button, you're registered. Um, so this Wednesday, I'd be meeting with Indian Western University. Uh, so they'd be actually, the rep would be looking for you and you could talk to them about the program. 
I'm going back under here. Um, so the college that I'm applying to, uh, this is obviously where you'll really start kind of putting things together. Uh, there'll be a match feature button here next to request transcripts. I've already clicked on that, so it's not there. But you actually match up your Common App to Naviance. And the Common App is where you'll typically put all the colleges you're interested in. Um, the Common App does the majority of all the schools. And anyway, there's a process with that, but you'll click on that button um, and it'll link you. And if you don't currently have a uh, Common App, um, it's not a big deal. Um, this would be an example of the, the Common App. Once you register the Common App, I've selected a few schools. So this would be my dashboard. <clears throat> My colleges here, I just wanted to point a few things out on the Common App, kind of jumping over to them temporarily. So if I click on Ohio State, for example, as one of the schools I added, uh, and you would do that here through the college search, you'd want to click on the recommenders in FERPA. And you'll want to fill out this release authorization on FERPA. Um, and view, view the release authorization. You'll want to complete this. This just allows the schools to know that your letters of recommendation are straight from um, you know, the professors, anyone that you're recommending um, as a reach out to them to do a recommendation on you. Um, and also for myself to forward information to the schools, it allows me to be able to send that information quickly and easily. So on the Common App, it is a little of a process when you're in here, but you'll have to set this up. Um, you'll go through and you'll fill all these steps out on the Common App. Um, so anyway, when you go to College Search, you can type in all the colleges you want, and then you can actually add those colleges. So if I want to go here, I can add to my colleges. Um, and you can see how it already auto-populated and added to school. Uh, one other feature I want to point out here because we don't talk about it on Naviance is your financial aid. Um, so there's all kind of you know stuff available to you as far as uh, programs take advantage of. There's different types of financial aid. There's the FAFSA, and this actually opens FAFSA opens up October 1st. Um, so if you want to fill out the FAFSA, you can click on this and it'll teach you how to do that. If you need any, just need any help at all, again that's a little of a process. You'll definitely want to do that with your parents. Okay, so kind of jumping out of that, uh, back into Naviance. So once you're back in, or I'm back into Naviance, I just want to point out that when you guys add schools to the Common App, they'll auto-populate here. If they're not a Common App school, they'll fall underneath parchment. So like I have Mount Vernon Nazarene University, I can send those documents easily um, to those schools. Um, if it's a Common App and this says FERPA waiver and this is not complete, that's going to limit what I can send to all the Common App schools. So you want to make sure you complete that FERPA waiver. And that will give me access to be able to send your documents uh, to the schools that you're interested in. And again, I know I'm kind of bouncing around here. Um, so I'm back under where you're, this would be the tab that, again, you would be seeing. So if I click on Colleges, one other thing I wanted to, well, I want to point out a few more things. So this right here is Manage Transcripts. If you click on that, it'll show... Uh, say, so say these two schools here, it shows pending because I haven't completed uh, sending the transcripts to the schools yet or the letters of recommendation. Uh, just to give you an idea of what these buttons are. Um, letters of recommendation. This is a really important feature. This is where you can request letters of recommendations from your professors. So I can put uh, add request. So let's say I want Mrs. Kane to be one of my letters of recommendation, and I want her to do one for me for Ohio State University. I could submit the request. Um, by the way, at the bottom there, you can type in a note to Mrs. Kane. Let her know that you appreciate her doing a letter of recommendation. Let her know about your future, what you're thinking about doing. That goes a long way with planning. I just want to add here on the, under Naviance, I know I mentioned under the Common App that uh, there's information there on helping you fill out the FAFSA. Uh, for financial aid and some of that information that's available. But here on Naviance, on the far right, the scholarships and money under colleges tab, there's a scholarship I'm applying to. So once you apply to some of those uh, scholarships, it'll show there. Uh, scholarship list, this is where you would put like your GPA. So let's say you're a 3.7 student. 
Uh, maybe you didn't do the SAT, but you did the ACT and you scored a 27. Uh, we don't do class rank, but it'll actually show you the schools and kind of uh, what packages uh, may be available, what merit scholarships may be available potentially to you. Um, the National Scholarship Ship Search, if you click on that, it'll take you to a tab that looks like this. This is where you put all your about information, uh, the major interests, activities that, that uh, discusses you personally. You put your academics, and then you can do an actual fine matching scholarships. So anyway, I hope that'll be helpful to you as you're planning. And I know that's a lot to take in. So feel free to reach out to me as you uh, move forward in the process. Have a great day. God bless.